Good morning, everybody, and happy Thursday. Hi. Help you all okay. You'll notice I've got a different partner in crime today. <laughs> <laughs> I have got the one and only Leanne from Maxi Cozy who's joining us. She's traipsed halfway around the country. I was going to say the world. We can go with world. We'll go with world. <laughs> She's traipsed halfway around the world. I set off yesterday morning and I've only just got here. Yep. It's been quite gruelling. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Thank Sunny you. Lincolnshire. Thank you um, for having me. Yeah, welcome to Pushchair Expert. If you've just joined us this morning, do say hello and do say good morning. I'm going to bring this up on our screen, um, which takes a little moment because it is, it's a little bit a little bit slow. I think we all through. feel a bit like that, don't we, as we, we go back to normal, a bit, bit rusty. We do, we do <laughs> indeed. So we're very, very excited today because we are going to be looking at something really exciting. I think there has been a buzz. We've not been allowed to say too much about it, but Top secret. you know, we've some of the retailers have known about it for a little while, and it goes without saying that this is the most exciting Maxi Cozy launch there has been for quite a while. Absolutely, yeah. Um, I mean, historically, Maxi Cozy are known as a brand who do things first. That's you know what we aim to do. Um, as a manufacturer but this has been sort of a long time coming for us and um, that's why it's all been kept top secret hush hush the official launch date is today i know it's like if you tell anyone we'll kill you yeah i mean that absolutely. is how serious you've been taking really it. you know yeah. really really serious <laughs> so hello everybody you may have noticed um over the last few lives this uh, facebook have kindly put this star thing on please don't send us stars because we're we are unable to remove them at the moment and we're working really hard with Facebook to get rid of them. But what we will do, any that people who have sent us it by accident or decided to send them, we will be donating that all to charity. So watch this space and we will let you know. So let's see who is fastest fingers first. We always see who is the fastest, okay? <laughs> Melissa, Gerard, you were the fastest this morning. Good morning to Megan Wright and Steph Lezedi Morley. I hope I've said that um, correctly. <laughs> and Charlie, Helen and Jess Howard and Ruth Tripp. Oh, God, that's joining wow. us this morning. Charlene Clay, Claire Whiteley, giving us a smile there. Obviously, sunshine makes everybody smile. It does. And <laughs> Chantel Cl uh, Clover, if you've pressed share, Thank you very much. We will look out for those comments because it will just say Shara. So if you can share, that would be amazing. Claire Wiley says new face. No, same face. I've had it forever. <laughs> Maybe just put a bit more makeup on. We have got a new face. Don't worry. I've not got rid of the, you, the other ladies that you normally see on our lives. They're actually doing some some Maxi Cozy training this morning. So they're doing the serious stuff. They are. We get to do the fun, fun. stuff. Yeah. I've got Leanne joining us from Maxi Cozy this morning. Um, and we're going to show you something really exciting. Charlie Helen says, ooh, is this a new seat? It's maybe, maybe. Maybe a couple of new seats and a new base. But perhaps. if you stay with us, you might find out. Stay Charlie. with us, absolutely. <laughs> We've got an amazing prize this morning. So, look at this. We're like <laughs> synchronised, okay? Look, we're synchronised. <laughs> Today, our prize is the Maxi Cozy E Safety Smart Cushion. Um, all you need to do is join in with our chat this morning and you could be our winner. And we'll, ju we'll draw the winner at the end, so stay tuned. What is it? What Tell is us, it? What is it, Very Leanne? good question. Um, so over the last couple of years, a lot of the laws, in, um, especially in other countries, um, have adapted. And obviously the overall um, goal is that children are safe when travelling in every aspect of the word. Um, so what the e-safety cushion does is it's compatible with a number of Maxi Cozy um, car seats. And basically it's a cushion that you sort of put into the, the seat of the car seat itself and then your child will sit on top of it. Now there's a nice um, app that you download as well and it links the cushion up with your phone. Um, it might sound ridiculous but it will actually <laughs> alert you if you um, go within, uh, sorry, you go away, too far away from the car without your child. Now I know that, <laughs> yeah on the outside that might sound ridiculous but if you're watching and you've already got a child you may agree with me that there is something called baby brain and it is it, you it's know, a real it thing. is real. Um, I've not forgotten my child, but I have driven to the wrong place before. Yep. You know, I have child in the back of the car, supposed to be taking them to nursery, driven to work. Happens. You know? Yeah, it, it does happen. So I suppose if that saves one life, it's worth it, isn't it? Absolutely. And um, what it does really is if... Um, if I was to leave my car and, you know, I forget babies in there, whatever it is that happens on that particular day that this happens, it will alert me via the app. 
Um, if I don't respond and go back within the distance of the vehicle to tend to my child, it will then alert two other emergency contacts as well. So it really is the beginning of a fantastic process. Eventually, you know, these cushions are going to be modified and um, the technology is going to be updated and it's then going to start giving you like the temperature of the child and all that extra so stuff. So this is the beginning of something quite exciting Absolutely. that perhaps in another 10 years will be very, very mainstream. So at the moment we're like, oh, do we need it? Don't we need it? But it's the beginning of quite a journey, I think. Yeah, it, absolutely. Um, I think, again, sort of when you're at a UK, you know, we're in the UK and it's something you're a bit like, huh, really? But they have changed a lot of the laws, especially in Italy. Yeah, and Italy and I think Germany as well are quite forward thinking. Yeah, and that's because they? of unfortunate, you know, child fatalities of overheating in the car. And it just sounds <laughs> almost ridiculous when you say it, like, how can this happen? But it does. But if it saves one life, it's exactly. definitely worth it. So we've got loads more people joining us. All you need to do to uh, be entered into the draw this morning is just join in with the chat. We've got Maxi, we've got Leanne from Maxi Cozy here. We're going to be looking at some brand new Maxi Cozy products this morning. We've got lots of people joining us. There's a young lady called Jilly Johnson joined Who us. Who might that be? Who could that be? <laughs> she said, maybe don't include me in the giveaway, but hello to you both. <laughs> Hi, Jilly. Hi, Jilly. So, Jilly works with Leanne at Maxi Cozy and unfortunately Jilly even if you wanted to be part of the giveaway you can't because you work for Maxi Cozy so sorry not everybody. today hun. not today <laughs> yes good try good try so right should we start with the exciting bits and pieces I just want to touch on Maxi Cozy because a lot of people will have heard of Maxi Cozy first time parents as well you know, I think there's some names in the arena of nursery products that they've heard of. They've probably heard of Maxi Cozy. They've probably heard of Silver Cross, you know, yeah. for quite different reasons. But a lot of people will refer to at what we would class as an infant carrier, your first seat that you have for your baby, for usually for the first 12, 15 months, depending on size of them. People will describe them as a Maxi Cozy, a little bit like you describe a vacuum cleaner as a Hoover. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So, yeah, that's what we're known for. And... Um, yeah, this is the category that we sort of really excel in, but we do actually, as you all know, have a lot of other products in other categories as well. So I think that's starting to come down a little bit now, just the, um, you know, putting Maxi Cozy as a brand with car seats, um, but also great for us. If people say, walk into a shop and say, can I have a Maxi Cozy? I yeah. yeah, I think, you know, they, Maxi Cozy is a brand that specialises in car seats. You know, they're at the heart of the brand yeah. is car seats and... Yeah car seat safety yeah. which you know we can't necessarily say about you know all brands and the development that goes on is amazing getting these seats up to standard isn't it absolutely yeah so we are massively involved in the actual writing and adaptation of the regulation itself um, therefore because of that we're always we tend to be the first to launch a product that meets the newest regulation and um, all of the sort of testing that we're involved in and um, you know, the, the manufacturing at a European level and it's just why we are sort of special as a brand when it comes to keeping children safe in, when travelling. So those people who've just joined us, I've been joined by Leanne all the way, all the way from Maxi Cozy. <laughs> Maxi, <laughs> all the way. Maxi Cozy is like a country, but all the way from the land of Maxi Cozy. <laughs> Welcome from the land of Maxi Cozy to the world of Pushchair Expert and all our Pushchair Expert fans at home. Thank you for joining us this morning. If you have hit share, thank you. Any questions you've got for Leanne about the Maxi Cozy range, in particular the bits that we're going to be looking at this morning, do ask and we will do our very best to answer them. You're all entered into a draw to win a Maxi Cozy e safety cushion. All you need to do is join in with the chat, so it's very, very simple. But on to the excitement. I know it's very exciting having you here, Leanne. That is very, very exciting. But it's not often we get really excited about products, but I think your team have waited for today because today is the <laughs> official launch you've waited for today haven't you it's all we live have. on our website if you need to go off and find it but come on what, what have you launched last today? night was a sleepless night for everybody and then this morning as soon as we all woke up this morning the team today. texted each other like it's finally arrived um so the launch is our new 360 family um and yeah it's made up of three new car seats and a base and all the, the all the features and everything it has. You're excited, just, you're oh, can you you're tell? <laughs> I've waited for this day. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's made up of um, the Pebble 360, the Coral 360, the Pearl 360, 
and the Family Fix 360. So basically everything that has 360 on the end of the title will fit with this base, so it's nice and easy. So it's one thing lots of people always ask is, can we put different car seats on a particular base? Can we put a different brand onto a base? All your car seats are designed to go on a particular base or sometimes a particular family of bases. So you always need to double check. If you've got a car seat at home, whatever brand, whether it's Maxi Cozy or any of the other brands, and you're not sure about which base it needs to go onto, just send us a message and we'll get one of our car seat experts to look at that for you. So, 360 family, mm -hmm. because it spins round. It does. Oh, we want it, it to spin. Does. Everybody wants everything to spin. I know. And it does. <laughs> it, yes, yeah, it, it is very, very popular, isn't it? Absolutely, and, you know, yeah. I think this is... I'm going to say it's been missing from the Maxi Cozy family, so I think that's why we're all so excited that it, you know it has arrived. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, because with the infant carrier side of it, because we, it's taken us a little longer to sort of get there with it, it's almost like it's it's been forgotten that we were actually the first brand to ever create a rotating seat, and we do have. And that was a, a while family. ago, wasn't it? It was. I mean, you're testing me, but I'm I know, pretty I'm sure it was I like. I don't know the answer to that one. Two thousand? Is it two thousand and? We've got seven. The Nicola actors. Bird has joined us this morning. Nicola, if you'd like to tell us the exact year, that would be absolutely I, awesome. I think it's 2007, but that started with the Axis. Yeah. Um, and then we went on to make the whole Axis Fix family. Um, and then we also have the Mika, but we've never had it where you can actually sort of detach no. and put it on a push chair. And that's why this is so exciting. We've got Pauline Burns has joined us this morning and she's got the Maxi Cozy Mika Mika. Mika. Is it Mika or Mika. Mika? Depends what country you're in. I think Depends it, whether you're from Yorkshire. Yeah, it does. It? I, yeah. I say Mika, we'll go with that. I say Mika, <laughs> so you're going to get a bit of confusion here. So Beth and Thomas have said, will these seats fit on the Egg 2 chassis? Yeah. Yes. They this will. one will. Yes, it will. Not yeah. a toddler seat, but our infant carrier will. They fit on a whole host of um, different push chairs, and we can go into that um, a little bit later. We'll perhaps do a little post later on on Facebook to show you exactly what that will fit in. Jem Crittenden says she can't wait to see it in action. I think she is talking about the seats, not us. Okay. okay so we better we better do as we're told. Thank you, Jem, for hurrying us up there. 2007, Nicola says. I got it right. Yes. Let's celebrate. Did I get it right or did I say it in my head and then, I don't know. No, no, no. I think we'll I said, go with you got yeah, it right. I got it right. We got it right. It's live. Right. We can't rewind. It's okay. Um, Stacey Earl says she's waiting for this launch before they buy their car seat. So hopefully this is going to help. No pressure, but thank you for waiting. <laughs> <laughs> right, so our base, it's an Isofix base, isn't it? We it can't certainly is. seat belt it in because there are a few bases on the market that you can seat belt in, but this is an Isofix base. It is, yeah. So all of the new um, 360 range actually conforms to the eye size regulation. Um, and with that, the base is installed with Isofix arms and the foot prop that you can see just here as well. Um, Everything that has a grey tab tends to adjust something. So this here is how you remove the seat from the base, which we'll show you later. You actually have a grey button just behind here as well that will allow you to adjust the foot prop as well. And then just down the side here, we have this grey tab here, which will allow you to detach and attach the Isofix arms themselves. And it's the same concept for all your Isofix bases, isn't it? On how to yeah. fit an Isofix base. And once you know, you know, they're not tricky. They're not tricky. You know, and they're not tricky. That's the whole aim of it. At Maxi Cozy, we really focus on eliminating misuse. Therefore, every base tends to follow the same pattern of how to attach. Um, as I said, we tend to make things sort of grey and, and you get your indicators to let you know that you have actually installed correctly as well. So, you know, just we understand people have off days and you're not always concentrating we fully do, yeah. and it just happens so as much as we can incorporate into the product to make it easy to use and know that it's sort of foolproof safe that's so that's we're what we go for. trying to eliminate the human error and if you've got an isofix base at home um or any car seat fitting questions get in touch you know whether it's maxi cozy or another brand we are more than happy to do a visual check for you but we will be open next Monday. It's like on Monday now. We can say on Monday. And Bowser. we're incredibly excited. We're opening appointment only as of Monday. So if you pop on the website, we can always pop you a link. You can book your um, appointment. The store, we're getting the store all back together. It's beginning to look really nice. We've got new car seat area. So I haven't counted how many car seats we've got on there display. A lot. A lot. A lot. It's a, a lot. huge, impressive store. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. 
So yeah, come and see us. Anyway, back to our 360 at base. So I think then the final things to touch upon is obviously the main event of the base itself. So um, this is actually how we rotate the base using this tab here. Now you'll notice that there's one on either side. You do only have to use one. Um, so obviously it depends which side you've actually installed the car seat to that you've just got easy access to do that. And then you will notice that I can't actually rotate that past it facing me. Now there is a reason for that. So if you don't mind, Joel, just touch on the eye size regulation and what that yeah. means. Because I think people don't, they've heard of the word eye size, but it, it doesn't really tell anybody what it means, does it? It doesn't, no. So sort of the main point of eye size was that we're trying to keep children rearward facing for longer. Um, so with the infant carriers, they must only be used in the rearward facing position. So the idea of the, the base only swiveling here means that I can't turn the infant carrier forward facing. So what it's actually got here is um, an anti-misuse lock. So it's locked into place here that it will only rearward face and turn sideways on for me to get bay bait comfortably in and out of the vehicle. Now, when we actually move on to the Pearl 360 as a car seat, you will notice that I can flick this and then I will get the full 360 degree rotation. And that is because then it's a parent's decision as to whether they have their child rearward or forward facing. So I'm just going to click that back into place because we're starting with infant carriers and you can see that I cannot physically turn that forward so, facing. just to interrupt you there, I've got a few people asking whether we've got them in stock. Yes, we do have them in stock. Any orders placed by five o'clock today. So one minute to five. Keep our warehouse gentleman, Simon, on his toes this <laughs> I'm afternoon. I'm sure they'll love that. Yeah, wait till one minute to five for me. I just, I, yeah, yeah, he'll really love me for that one. But anything ordered before five o'clock will be with you tomorrow. So, Wowza. Um, yeah, in stock. And I don't think they're going to hang around for long. So we've had a look at the base. The base goes all the way around because it will fit two different seats currently, won't it? Well, Shall we start with this one or are yeah. we going to talk about what the future? Let's talk about the Pebble 360 Let's first. I think that's Pebble what everybody's waiting for, aren't they? So this is the Pebble 360 and lots of you will, I'm sure you will know about this seat in a previous life, not with the 360 bit on Yeah, it. it's been through um, the adaptations across across the years. So we've had, you know, Pebble, Pebble Plus, Pebble Pro, now we're on to Pebble 360. It's a loved seat. Oh, I think it is. That's why it stayed, isn't it? Because it is a loved seat. And a lot of the time, going back to what we said earlier about um, people calling it a maxi cosy, that's what grandparents called it. And they've had, you know, various um, versions of this seat through the years. I had a Pebble. Did you? Yes, I had Brilliant. a Pebble Pro, bright pink. Bright pink. Bright pink. Right yep. up your street, that. Girl, uh, girl after two boys, bright pink. And actually, <laughs> go, go I saw somebody pink. in Sainsbury's with one the other day, and I said, oh, good seat. <laughs> good seat, yeah. So there are a lot of changes that have been made to the 360, though. So not it's not sort of exactly the same, but it spins. We've added loads of extra features in there as well. And it just really looks premium. This colour is beautiful as oh, well. I love So this is essential grey, It is, it? yeah. Yeah, so we also have the um, essential green and the essential graphite available um, as well. The green's so nice as well. It is it's, really pretty, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I would call it maybe like a, a sagey it's green. It's a sagey green. If you saw the post that we've put on Facebook, um, we've used that as one of our hero images yeah. because it is really, really lovely. And I think I might get that one out on display as well. Yeah, yeah. I think. It, green, it's a nice green. It it's is really a lovely nice. green. So before, I, I know you're all waiting for the spin, but I'm just going to hold your focus so that can I can spin? talk through that. Yeah, do a spin. <laughs> there you go. Just a, like a mad lady in the corner. <laughs> a rotation. Because um, I just want to talk you through some of the extra features as well. Um, so as you can see here, we now have a separate sun canopy as well. I um, like that. Yeah, so... I that's, that's what was missing years ago. Yeah. I love the separate sun Historically, canopy. we've had um, a lot of phone calls to customer care off the back of it where people think that the hood hasn't arrived. Um, it used to be sort of down the back of here so that you could just pull it out as you needed to. We had one yesterday. Did you? Yeah, okay, yesterday. So it's, it's, so it's still true. a thing. It is true um, that they couldn't find the hood. Yeah. They found it now. They found it in the end. Yeah, they yeah. found it in it the end. It was easy to access easier. when you knew... When where you to know, look. you know. Exactly. With this one, you can't lose it because it's there all the time. It's wonderful. Um, so we also have this beautiful newborn insert as well. So with the Pebble 360, we can use it from um, 40 centimetres, so birth, through to 83 centimetres, which is approximately 15 months. This insert is essentially like a car seat within a car seat. Um, hopefully you can see I'm squeezing it here and there's some really good side impact protection in there. Yeah. 
Um, and this comes out when your child gets to 60 centimetres in length. And then it just allows all the extra room for the bum to dip down further. Therefore, the shoulders and the head come in further down from the top of the seat. So you get that longevity out of it as well. And I think the majority of your seats, whether it's maxi cozy, the majority of the seats, you remove your insert round about 60 centimetres. And if, you know, not everybody's going to see health visitors at the moment. You know, so just, you know, pop your child on a table, pop their feet down flat and then just put a little book at their head when you've got them stretched out and then measure it. Don't try and measure a wriggling baby, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Try no. it, it doesn't work, okay. <laughs> but again, focusing on eye size, this is one of the updates. We don't um, indicate it by the weight of the child, we go by how, uh, what their length is as well, um, which gives a better indication of this, uh, when they should be in the seat and moved on to the next one. We've got a lot of love for the hood. Wow. A lot of love for the time hood. For, for the yeah, people just enjoying one more time, that out there. Come on, one more time. It's <laughs> your moment to shine, Hud. So um, then just moving on to all of this fancy stuff you see on the side here. So this lovely panel is a perforated side panel. A perforated side panel. Say that fast. <laughs> perforated side panel. <laughs> so what this does, um, with the Climaflow fabrics as well, it goes back to what we discussed earlier, sort of um, when we were discussing the e-safety cushions. We need children to be at the perfect temperature when they're traveling in the vehicle. You know, we don't want them in car seats with big winter coats on equally. We don't want them no coats. to be really no coats. No coats. No Absolute coats. no, no. I think those people who join us regularly may have got that message from yeah. Kelly and I. No Under coats. no circumstances, no winter no coats. coats. It's, it's the same with everything. It's more important that our babies don't get too hot than too cold. But as a parent, you worry about them being too cold. And I think of that's course. quite natural. Of course, yeah. But it's actually the flip side. And then on the other side of it, obviously, we're hoping for a nice UK summer. <laughs> come on, be positive. <laughs> I'm come on. hopeful. I'm come on, be positive. The sun's out today. It's yep, still freezing, on, but it's, we're getting there. It's going to be... It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be beautiful. <laughs> so children, obviously, as we do, tend to sort of... The head, neck and spine is where they're going to overheat in the vehicle when they're, they're sitting in the car seat. So the idea of the Climaflow fabrics and the perforated side panel is that they work together to keep baby at the optimum temperature when traveling in the vehicle. So it, it means great ventilation within the seat itself and just keeps them nice and comfortable as well so that you don't have to do the winter coats and equally you don't have to worry about them not being warm enough or, you know. Yeah, it's, it's just about everything that the seat can do to help us as parents keep our children safe. Absolutely. And I think as a parent, once you... You kind of research your seat, but just knowing it's there for the longevity of the seat is really, really useful. I'd just like to say thank you to Steph Lezady Morley for sharing. Thank you very much. Oh, thank we you. do appreciate it. <laughs> um, so then hopefully that's covered that and what that means, because you, if you do purchase it, um, you will notice that this is quite a big detail that's changed. And that's the reason for it. Not only does it really look nice and add to the premium look and feel, it does serve a purpose as well. So now I just want to touch on, um, you'll notice that it says G-cell here. This is for everybody who's watching, but also James who's asked, what does G-cell mean? Oh, okay, so there we go. This is just for you, James. This is just for you, James. And I'm going to give you um, <laughs> a bit of a history lesson on what it means um, so that hopefully you understand it. And yeah, it's just another feature that's an added bonus for the, for the Pebble 360. So um, G-Cell technology is actually patented, patented oops, say to, that quickly. Uh, no, I can't, to Maxi Cozy as um, a brand. And what we actually did was we worked with the IndyCar racing industry. Um, I think it started in America. How exciting is that? So exciting. There's videos on YouTube. and Did you get to go and watch the IndyCar racing and go to America? I would love to say yes, but I didn't, unfortunately. Oh. Um, it was before my time at Durrell, but oh, that is how it started. Obviously, if you had been there, you would have... Oh, absolutely. Yeah, Get yeah, me to absolutely. America. I'll talk about G-Cell all day long. <laughs> we could go and talk about G-Cell on a live in America just and take the seat with us, couldn't we? Should we do that? Yeah, let's do yeah, that. Yeah, I think we should. Awesome. When, when we're allowed to travel again, <laughs> let's yeah. go straight maybe, on. <laughs> maybe not this week. Maybe not this week. <laughs> One step at a time, Jo. <laughs> so with G-Cell technology, we actually worked um, with the IndyCar racing industry to make race car drivers safer. So the actual vehicle seats that you sit in when you're traveling, so um, the best way to describe it really is if you picture um, a football net, when you right. score a goal and the football hits the net, it's a buildup of hexagons, isn't it, yep. the net? And the idea is it disperses the energy throughout the net rather than the force all aiming at one place. So obviously the products are eye size. 
G-Cell technology, in true Maxi Cozy fashion, goes above and beyond what the regulation requires, and this is additional side impact safety on top of the regulation eye size and what that means. So what basically what we're saying is you haven't just gone to the minimum. Absolutely not. Try to get as yeah. As much in there as possible, as much safety features as you possibly can. Absolutely. So G-Cell technology is built into the shell of the seat. And if you're in the you know unfortunate um, predicament where you have a side impact collision, you know that the G-Cell technology is there as well to disperse the energy and the G-force away from your child and keep them as safe as possible. It's clever, isn't it? It's so clever. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's just amazing. But hexagons are, I mean, they're... they're that is the hexagons in a beehive, isn't it? Exactly, so beehive. It's the same yeah. concept. Absolutely, yeah. Um, there's a lot of sort of. Oh, wild... don't, don't hit a beehive. Don't, don't hit. Yeah, don't, don't start no. practicing no. with a G. <laughs> no. With a bee. Chase no, that bees. will not end no. well. No, no. 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 Um, but yeah, a lot of the um, the videos that we made for it were sort of based around wildlife because it does crop up more than you would expect. But I think the easiest Nature's way to. Nature's amazing. Isn't oh, it? absolutely. And that's where we got the inspiration from as well. So thank you, Nature. So, I mean, Charlie <laughs> Helen has, has also shared. Thank you, Charlie. That is awesome. She said, this is amazing. So, so clever. Annalise, Jamie, I didn't know this. This is, uh, this is amazing. I think you, you are amazing us. You are amazing <laughs> us with your knowledge of Jesus, Leanne. <laughs> Good. Um, um, just a quick question. Somebody's asked about the <coughs> insert inside our Pebble 360. Yeah. Does it come <coughs> apart or is it one piece? Um, so it does actually come apart. So if I just move this handle, I think we've still got the tags and everything on. You can because take them it's off brand if you, new, like, if you don't mind. But you can actually... Oh, no, it's not. It's one. Got it wrong. Got it wrong, Joe. That's all <laughs> it's right, one. Yeah. We've it's moved one. back to one, yeah. Move back to so it comes out as one piece that you can see there. I do think, though, for parents, once they take it out, we have a number of parents who are going to use the seat for their second child. Yeah. And they've lost part of okay. it. So hopefully, with it all being one, they won't lose There's part of it. There's less parts so to lose. Less parts yeah. to lose. And if you are ever in that instance as well, we have a UK um, based customer care team, and um, they're more than happy to help with the spare parts. and missing pieces and stuff like that. So it does happen. It does happen. It does, it does, it does happen. Bell Newell has asked whereabouts we are based. We are based in Lincolnshire, just north of Boston. We are the largest nursery store in Lincolnshire, one of the largest in the UK. So if you want to come and see us, please do. We would love to see you. Coffee machine is on or will be on <laughs> as of next week. Um, but we do ship throughout the UK. So. Right, so. There's just one more thing that I do want to mention for anyone who might have had a previous model of the pebble, yep. like yourself. Um, we've moved where the handles are on the side. I like it. It's so much easier, isn't it? So they're now here and you can just grab with both hands at the same time and just manoeuvre it. Or now, with one. Yeah, absolutely, you know, yeah. It, yeah, I really like that upgrade. Yeah. So obviously we're remembering that we must always have the handle in the upright position when travelling, but it's nice that you can actually take it back to access baby and you can actually take it back again to stand it on the floor. Yep. Um, so if you don't want it rocking when you've stood it on the floor, not a lot of people know that that handle will actually go all the way back But we as need well. to have it in the upright position when we are in the car because I think a lot of people think well, we're attached to the base so it doesn't matter. So why is it important that on this particular seat, because different seats have different regulations yep. to, depending on the way that they're safety tested. The majority, if we're going to make a sweeping statement, the majority are in the upright position or one forward. Why? What's the use of the handle in the upright position? So with Maxi Cozy, when we actually come to safety uh, crash test the seats, um, believe it or not, this handle is actually part of the side impact safety as well. So if you are in the event of a side impact collision, again, the G-force is dispersed up and around the handle, keeping it away from your bundle of joy within the seat. And I think... Um, Although some brands do tend to do it differently, it, it tends to be an easier message for us all to say, keep it up because it's less confusion yep. for, for parents um, not knowing where they stand with it. So if you keep it up, at least you know. Um, and all your more modern seats will have an indication on the side. So it's really useful. Yep. You know, all the brands, top brands, puts the information all on the side of the seats that you can see here. So if you're not sure, you can't find your manual, just have a quick visual check on the side of your seat. And again, if you can't find your manual, YouTube is your friend, 
Manufacturers' websites are great. Yep. You can often download another copy of your instructions or get in touch with us and we will send you a link. Absolutely. Are we going to see it spin? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> just I've you... held out a while. Come on, let's spin. I'm going to spin it. You're going to spin. So I'm going to pull this handle here and... Ta-da! Ta -da! She spins. She spins. Oh, it must be in the name. So, obviously now it's just next level we can put baby in without straining my back if yeah. we've not necessarily taken the infant carrier out of the the vehicle we can make sure the harness is in the correct position they're nice and comfortable the coats are off um, and you've got a happy little baby before you set off without breaking your back in and the meantime. And if you've had a C-section, yep. if anybody's had a C-section, you'll know that actually getting your seat in is quite difficult. And it's a more natural position to place something in front of you than to twist and place it sideways. And let's make no bones about it. These infant carriers are heavy once you've got your child in them. Yeah. Really heavy. So just to touch on that subject, um, we have focused because we know that customers now are looking, you know, parents to be, they are looking for something lightweight as well. Um, the Pebble 360 weighs in at 3.9 kg, so it's actually lighter than the Pebble Pro, which was 4.5. There was a question earlier, actually, that was asking, is it as heavy as the Pebble Pro? I'm sorry, I've lost your name, but actually Sarah Jane has also said, how heavy is this, please? You were ahead of the game there. You can obviously read through my <laughs> iPad there. I know, I know what they're asking. I know what they want. You know what they want to know. 3.9. So I'll go then. Do you want me to go? <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, yeah. I'll go right. and have a cup of tea. No, please don't leave. A cup of tea and a Krispy <laughs> Kreme donut. Don't. So yeah, 3.9, um, because obviously when you are then putting a newborn baby in, even more so a 12-month-old baby, it can become a heavy bit of kit. So yeah, 3.9 on its own and... There are, there's more exciting news when we move on to a different seat because we get even lighter. But yeah, I'm not going to jump too far ahead. Too far. Liz Charlton has said, is this easier to use in a three-door car? Hmm. I think it is easier I because think you're it... putting it in that way and then you spin. So definitely anyone with... or You can obviously lift it over or go in the other side. So your spin seats are always, if access is an issue going to give you a little bit more flexibility. Absol absolutely, yeah. I think obviously you're not going to get the full benefit of the swivel part of the seat, but I think even when it comes to lining up the bar with the base as well, um, if it's sideways on, you get a better view of where this bar is versus where it should be yeah. on the base, so it probably will still be um, massively beneficial in a three-door car We've got well. a few people asking about prices. Okay. So we'll run through what we've done first of all, and then we'll run through like the whole family and we'll keep coming back to that. Okay. So your seat itself, your Pebble 360. So it's actually really exciting that we've brought a new range out that has all of these additional features and the price is no more expensive than its predecessor. So the Pebble Pro was 199, the Pebble 360 is also 199. And the it's a no-brainer then, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. To me, it's a, you know, it is a no-brainer. So there will be some seats in our range that are phased out um, as to not confuse um, consumers and just keep it nice and easy. And, and retailers. And retailers as yeah, well. Yeah. And if the price point's the same and you're getting all of these extra features in there, yeah, it, like you said, it's just a no-brainer. Um, the Family Fix 360, the base itself, is also 199 um, And just remember, it's compatible with three different seats, all that have 360 on the end of the title, so it keeps it so nice and easy. So your base is, you're going to be able to use your base from the moment your child is born all the way up to an average kind of four-year-old-ish, which yeah. we'll go on to that in just a moment. So one base is going to last you even when your child has outgrown your infant carrier. So you've not got to start again. You don't have to start again, no. So the price point's really attractive when you buy it at infant carrier stage. You get to use it for that four years. Um, so you're getting the longevity out of it. Yeah, and um, all of the seats and the features that they offer as well. So I think the price point is mega. We, yeah. Yeah, I know. I think you've done really well with the price point. I think it's just spot on. Jodie Meekin has joined us, and her question is what's the difference between this seat and the Cybex Cloud Z and Zerona Z system? Well, Jodie, if you stay tuned, we will actually be doing another live putting these two side by side so we, Ooh, can, we can have a look talk. at the differences, the similarities as well and the differences so uh, as well if you are looking at those two seats or you've narrowed it down to a couple of seats and you can't get into store before monday we do have our video appointment so we can do that for you if that's going to help jody so little one 
has outgrown this seat. Okay. And how, 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 how long is this seat going to last? What size are we going to? So we're going to 83 centimetres in length. That's um, good. It is good. That's it's really longer good. than the Pebble Pro, which was 75. So you're getting more towards that 15 month point now. You're getting eight centimetres more. You are, which you is are. a lot. It doesn't sound a lot, but it's a lot. It, it is a lot. They okay. tend to have growth spurts, don't they, children, where you're like, well, this is not going to last long, and then they stop for a while, and yeah. It... And everybody, we have this time and time again, and if you're a parent at home, don't worry, this is really, really normal. Infant care, their legs get to here, and the pa parents panic that yeah. they're outgrowing them. It's not that we don't like your children's legs, we love your children's legs. <laughs> but we don't need to worry about it, do we? We don't, know. I think um, if you just think of it as, um, we get asked a lot, um, are they uncomfortable? Is it unsafe when the legs start to bend and come yeah. out of the seat? We don't sit in the vehicle as adults like this. Our legs bend as well. And I think naturally when you sit um, a child on the floor, they take the frog leg position. They do. They're comfortable. They're perfectly comfortable. And obviously um, we do love their legs, um, but we're keeping everything you know, that's inside the shell of the seat safe in a collision as well. Perfect. We've got, we've got um, lots of people just joined us and asking about the price and lots of our watchers replying. So well done. You were obviously listening there. Well done. Charlie Helen, top of the class there because she's told another one of our um, oh. listeners, <laughs> watchers, listeners, watchers, both hopefully. Oh. <laughs> um, 199 99 for the 360 Pebble and also 199 for the base. Yeah, 199 for each. Yeah. Fantastic. So, so little ones outgrown the seat. Do we need to we don't need to throw away the base, do we? We do Be, not, we do we not, need do to not waste away. money in that way. Do not, <laughs> do not throw away the base. It's okay, we've got you covered. We don't even need to take it out of the car, Joe. Oh. It can stay in the car, can drive to push chair expert, I can buy my next seat, I can install it on the base that's already there and I can leave the same day. Your life is complete. Absolutely. Your life is complete, because it's not a tricky fit, is it? It's not at all, no. So, so we're going to move on to a new seat. So this is the Pearl 360 and um, it's equally as exciting. So um, again, the Pearl comes from a family of seats with the same name that have just been adapted, you know, the, the Pearl, the Pearl Smart, the uh, Pearl Pro, now Pearl 360. Again, some of those will be phasing out um, to make the range clearer and there's just not a need for it's them not, anymore. Is there? No, I think that's really, really true. Sorry, I've just got some people who just joined it's us okay. and asked about the Pebble 360 fitting on pram systems. Yes, it has been safety tested on a whole host of prams. So we'll be able to pop a list over to you. But you do need, if you have got an infant carrier, Lots of infant carriers will fit on the same adapters, but you do need to check that it has been safety tested on the chassis. So it's not going to come off, for example, and it also goes through tip testing. So you do need to check. Again, if you're not sure, get in touch and we'll be able to let you know which ones it is compatible with. Yeah, it, it's compatible with a whole host of popular pushchairs. This is really brands. nice though, because what you've done on your launch is you've already tested it. Yeah. There's a lot of products that come to market and we have to wait for that testing to come through. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, I mean, with some of our older seats, um, we've never actually taken responsibility um, for doing our own testing because it's been that pushchair brands yep. have wanted it to be compatible with the Maxi Cozy, knowing that a lot of customers will choose the car seat first because of, of the travel safety element of it. Um, with this, we have actually done our own testing. So we based it on um, what we know from retailers and consumers on what people are buying um, yep. in, in the world of push chairs, which we are also in as well. So obviously it's all compatible with our own push chairs. They do do their own push chairs. Sorry. We do, yeah. Um, the beautiful, this is the Adora Lux. The Adora Lux, the new Adora Lux. So obviously it will be compatible with our own. Um, but we've done our own testing this time and then there are a couple of brands that are doing their own testing but that's already happening it's, as well yeah. so the list is just going to keep growing and we're going to be able to give uh, parents that you know e that, peace of mind that, that, that it works. that peace of mind isn't it? So we'll come on to our Adora looks in a moment mm -hmm. but let's have a look at I'm, I don't want to say toddler seat because it's more than a it's toddler seat. It's not a toddler seat, it's more than a toddler it's seat. It's more than a toddler seat but if you've had this as an infant carrier this is your toddler seat you're going to move on to. But it not is. everybody wants an infant carrier. And there is a reason that we've chosen to do this with the Pearl 360. So um, historically, you could use the older Pearls from like six months and it was classed as a second stage seat. Now, the Pearl 360, we can use from birth, so 40 centimetres 
all the way through to 105, which is four years old. Um, and you wouldn't think so looking at this because it looks it's like magic. it's made for, it's just, it, just it is, it's just Maxi absolute sorcery. Magic. Um, so if you do ever, if you're ever unsure, you know, with a car seat that you're using for longer than the infant carrier stage, you always have indications just on the side here of what measurements we're using in what position, your eye size logo and some, some details of installation as well. So the reasoning behind this, imagine you are expectant parents and you're coming to visit Joe and the lovely ladies at Pushchair Expert. You have two vehicles, uh, one for mum, one for dad, you know, one for parents to use, one for grandparents, whatever yep. the, reasoning are, uh, the reasons are. So they come in, obviously they're going to need two bases. Now we're sort of re removing the element that they will then have to buy two infant carriers and then upgrade two seats. You can buy your infant carrier for mum or dad or whoever is predominantly looking after baby. Yeah. The Pearl 360 can go in car number two because you can still use it from birth but you get that four yeah, years use out of it. you can't put it on the chassis if you push you it. You can't, you can't. So again, as you said earlier, if you've got people wanting infant carriers that will then go onto the push chair chassis, you have your infant carrier. If you've got people who are wanting the 360 um, technology, but they're not really interested um, in taking the, the car seat out and putting it um, onto a chassis, the Pearl 360 you can use and completely skip that stage as well. So. It kind of gives you another option, maybe for that second car or you see that you're going to use after your infant carrier. And the, the thing to remember about your car seat, I mean, let's, let's, let's make no bones about it. Your car seat is designed for your car. Yeah. Your push chair is for pushing. Yeah. Sometimes having that flexibility just to pop it onto the chassis of your push chair, just nipping into the doctors, just nipping in for bread or something like that. You know, it, it gives you that flexibility, yeah. doesn't it? It's, it does. it's really a, a kind of a, just makes life a little bit easier. But bear in mind, for the first four to six weeks, baby shouldn't be in that car seat for that long, no, should they? No, not at all, no. And we very much um, say that a car seat is designed for the car, as you said. Yeah. If you're going out for the day or you don't know when you're going to be back because when we're back to normal and everyone's yeah. visiting everybody, you know, you might go out in the morning with intentions of having a coffee and a straw around the park, but you end up going to visit grandma who you haven't seen or you go shopping because we can and... <laughs> uh, we can go shopping, shopping yeah. <laughs> So it's no good then that you're stuck out with just your infant carrier because it's not offering a good position for baby to be in there. They need to be... Um, 180 degree lie flat wherever possible, hence the carry cot and uh, the travel system yeah. element when, when you're out of the vehicle. So yeah, so those people who join us regularly on the live will know that we often push this message, you know, and bear in mind that a newborn baby should not be in that seat for sort of more than 30 minutes-ish, no. give or take. So yeah. get them out, give them a comfort break, you know, and if you are getting to your destination, Pop them into your pram. Yeah, we really need to protect their breathing and they've got little flimsy spines when they're no. so small and we don't want to keep it not in a, a flat position um, wherever possible. So that's the, the reason behind that. So listen to the, the ladies at Pushchair Expert when they're saying a car seat is for a car. <laughs> car unless seat is a it's... car, pushchair you're pushing, but sometimes we do yeah. get that it's convenient. Yeah, absolutely. Know. So move it back to our car seat of the moment. Yeah, so um, the Pearl 360, we can actually use rearward facing for the full four years as well, which is fantastic. We're trying to promote rearward facing for longer under the eye size regulation. Equally, we can turn it forward facing from 15 months old if parent chooses to do that. Um, we do hear it a lot where parents will say that their child has sort of told them that they don't like rearward facing. We're working a lot more on the educating, right? You guys do it as well. We are all the time because there's a lot of seats that will rear face to that kind of, I'm going to say an average for you yeah, know, yeah. all those very, very popular seats on the market, you know, Maxi Cozy, other brands. And a lot of them have the option to twizzle them around forward facing. We would say 15 months is the absolute, absolute minimum. Absolute minimum. We would say two years is good practice, but four years is best practice. The longer we can keep your children rear facing, the safer, you know, they are. And people do say, my child wants to turn around. Yep. Yeah, but your child is a toddler as well, you know, and we're the grown-ups and mm -hmm. we kind of have to try and encourage them to stay in that safest position. It'd be safer for us to travel backwards. Absolutely. Unless if there was a driving. way to drive, like... Yeah, no, that wouldn't work. <laughs> I, I find it hard to reverse what it is. I'm not going to go, drive backwards. Yeah, but that's the reasoning behind. People worry about their legs, but as Leanne mentioned earlier, our legs are absolutely fine. They yeah. just cross them. I used to be a primary school teacher, reception children don't sit on their chairs like this, they sit on them like this, like this. Yeah. Even when they're sat on the sofa watching TV, they 
they're less comfortable to have. They don't like their legs dangling. It's not no. as comfortable. Yeah, and again, we, we don't sit I don't like do that. I don't, we I don't, don't sit like that at Maybe all. Maybe I'm just a small child. <laughs> there are options as well, remember. So if your child has never been forward facing, they kind of don't know what they're missing almost. So try and keep them rearward facing as long as possible, even though you do have the option of turning this forward. And obviously there are accessories of the mirrors, etc., so that um, you can keep an eye on baby and they can kind of still engage and see what's happening in the car, even when they're facing backwards as well. Um, we get asked, um, I think a, a thing that comes up with forward facing as well is um, for travel sickness. Um, and we've had uh, conversations previously before where I don't think that happens as often as, I don't know if children have this travel sickness. Uh, yes, as I think there's um, a few people been doing some research about it. Yeah. That we, if a child is travel sick and they're rearward facing, we think it's because they're rearward facing. But it, it's just that your child is prone to becoming to being yeah. travel sick. We'd always recommend having a mirror on yeah. here. I should have got one. I've not got one in here. Often have our safety first mirror on there. So then you can line that up and you can see them. Just one thing just to touch on. Um, you can, somebody asked, Steph asked, can we belt this seat in? Yes, you can belt it in as well as using it on your Isofix base, your 360 base. However, when you move on to this seat, you can't belt it you in, can't, you need that's the base. Right. Yeah, so you've got your green indicators on the Pebble 360 um, and the other infant carrier that we haven't touched on yet. <laughs> and um, it fits the same as it always has, so it's lap to lap, lap, to lap and diagonal, diagonal round, round the, the back. back. <laughs> <laughs> and just making sure, obviously, the seat belt is nice, um, nice and tight, it's got great tension in there and that the handles face in the upright position um, and you are good to go without a base as well. So um, back onto the Pearl 360. Obviously, we touched upon um, newborn inserts as well with the Pebble 360. We have the same with um, the Pearl. So if I just extend the harness like Sorry, so. Sorry, I should have taken the tags off. Don't there. worry, that's all right. We can work around. I just thought I'd make it a bit more tricky. You like to make my life difficult, don't you? Yeah, do? <laughs> all the time. All the time. You can see just how plush and premium that is for a newborn baby. It's so thick. It's got side impact protection. And you can also see when I've taken it out, just how much room that actually offers in the car seat itself. So like, like we said earlier, it's a complete magic trick. The more we start to extend the harness, the more that the height adjustment will come up as well, hence making it big enough for a four-year-old child. But you can still see that amount of protection, that amount of side impact protection on that seat, can't you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Again, we've got the G-Cell technology, which is built in on the side here. Maybe I ought to test people. If you were watching us earlier, can you remember what G-Cell technology what is? What is it? <laughs> so yeah, you've got your G-Cell technology in there as well. And then whilst you are there, the perforated side panels here. And you also have a nice big ventilation unit on the back there just to keep baby at the optimum temperature when traveling in the car. Oh, just while our cameraman's there, we've got a really nice shot of the Maxi Cozy e-safety safety cushion over there, which is our prize today. Those of you who have joined us a little bit later. Um, the, we will draw the winner shortly. That's our prize for today. Um, and all you need to do is comment and ask us some questions. And it's a random draw that will be done live at the end of our... Show? Discussion? Sure. <laughs> I don't know what you want to sure. call it. <laughs> so I'm just going to bob that down because I'm going to tighten everything back up and then we'll put it on the base. Because another one of the features um, on this product is the Flexi Spin Rotate. The Flexi Spin Rotate. Say that rotate. one fast. <laughs> flexi Spin Rotate. You're, you're challenging me. Oh, Charlie Helen, honeycomb shapes to disperse energy upon impact. Well, well done. done. Well done. Great answer. Um, so I don't know if you noticed, I sneakily did it earlier as Joe was talking. Just going back to the anti-misuse lock, I flicked it into the second position so that now I can do the full rotation because we're using the Pearl 360, which we can use in both ways. So what I mean by um, the flexi spin rotate is that we have reclined positions on the Pearl 360 as well. And we can actually choose the recline position before we turn it rearward facing because the recline is here. Ah. So it's nice and easy. And it can be a bit of a faff trying to, once you've turned them rearward facing, then trying to get your hand behind the seat yep. and choose it. So I'm just going to line this up. Where are we? We are there. So once you have got the knack of putting your seat on the base and yep. you use it, you, you're not going to take this one in and out, are you? You're not, no. But your infant carrier you will, but you do get that knack. So, you know, the first few times you're doing it, if you're struggling with this or any base, just keep going. You will 
suddenly it'll dawn on you and you'll just go, oh, I do it every yeah. time. It's, I think when you, the seat first arrives before baby does, um, have you practice installing everything? Yep. There's a bar underneath the car seats and you're just looking to line it up. Don't with, do this with baby in it, but... Obviously, <laughs> with the groove there. So, so this is the bit that's going to attach. On both seats, both seats have the bars which are going to attach to your Isofix base. Yeah, absolutely. So the flexi uh, spin rotate, so as I said, we can actually set the recline position here, any position that we want, and then we can spin so that now I don't have to try and get my hand down the back and set it afterwards. And probably what you've all been waiting for. I'm spinning around. <laughs> I was just saying, but I don't think that'd be a good idea. Everybody just go, no, turning off, turning off, turning off. Is that full 360 spin rotation. So as I said, we can do it forward facing as well. And then we can just turn it a bit more upright and the headrest will continue to grow. I think as now well. we've taken the inserts out because this seat will go from birth to 105 centimetres. I think when they've got all the inserts in, your headrest is down. It's very hard for parents, particularly parents who are pregnant and who haven't already got a toddler, to realise that actually your seat grows with your child, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It, we still do get asked that question a lot. And parents just want the reassurance, you know, when, are they, when are, the, are they ready to come out of the seat? When are they ready to go into the next one? And a lot of them, a lot of car seats on the market do have adjustments that can be made. So we would say don't part with your money before you have to. If you can make the harness adjustments and make the headrest adjustments, do it and, and get as much use out of that seat as you can. Yeah, it's always a message we push across is max out that seat before you're in a rush to move on to the next seat. Yeah. Because that's where your child is going to be the safest you know don't be in a rush and I think it's it's all you know my, my ch you go to like play groups and toddler groups you know who, whose child is crawling for whose child is sitting up first whose child is crawling first and I, particularly when my children were little there was almost this rush of whose child is going to outgrow their infant carrier and now I know what I know now my child hadn't outgrown the infant carrier oh no my, my child is so nosy they need to look around no, no, rubbish. Let's keep our children safe. Yeah, absolutely. Don't part with your money before you have to and don't take them out of the safest thing yeah. that they can be and in. And when people come into store and they're looking at seats, we often will like to see them in their infant carrier um, and or the next stage seat if they've got it in the car to see whether they are actually ready to move on to the next stage seat. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we have sort of team members within Durell that obviously have used Maxi Cozy products for their own children and the use that um, some of them have had out of the, the Pebble, um, you know, the older version of the, the 360, phenomenal because the, the child didn't exceed the weight limit and, um, you know, the head was in the correct position, etc. So they got a bargain because they didn't have to buy the next, yeah. next seat for ages. And that's exactly what we want. There yeah, is no rush. Do no, there isn't. And we will tell people they don't need a new seat. If, if they don't need a new seat, we're not going to sell you a seat if you don't need it. So don't worry about that. Now, we've said that this goes up to 105 centimetres. It has a weight limit as well, doesn't it? Because it's all about the, uh, the weight of your child, the seat and the strength of your isofix points isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So under the regulation all of the testing is done with Q dummies um, which um, have different weights and lengths etc. Now they do all have a weight limit but obviously the measurements that are used for each sheet is sort of an average so yeah. it's going to be a very rare occurrence where you have a child that sort of exceeds, exceeds the weight limit before they've reached that length but it is something to look out for. Yeah. So again with your measurements on the side of the seat you will always get your maximum weight limit as well. Um, but the, there is an overlap between groups um, with car seats so that if you do have a child that outgrows it, you know, sooner that the next one will come down to meet the, um, the requirements. But, and all children are different shapes and sizes, aren't they? We they have are. scales in store as well. So if you are coming in store, we can pop that child on the, on the scales if they would like to go on the scales. I would not like to go on the scales. Right no, now. I'm not. We don't put the parents on the scales. <laughs> yep, no, we don't weigh the parents. <laughs> times when you've got a little one who's running around and they don't want to go on the scales and then you pop the parents on the scales and then pop parent holding the child and then you can work out what the child weighs. A lot, a lot of maths involved there. Yeah, I'll leave that to you. Uh, we've got calculators, it's fine. It's I'd be fine. lying about it, I'd be like, that can't be right because I, I weigh at least a stone lighter than what <laughs> you're trying to yeah. make out. This lockdown weight <laughs> is nothing. You? Rude, rude. So, so yeah. But it is important, isn't it, to know that our child is 
not too heavy so we've not got too much impact on your isofix points absolutely yeah the isofix within the vehicle um can only sort of withstand so much weight and obviously we have to take into account the product weight as well yep. and everything that's sort of on the isofix bars before we put the child in there um but this is all done within the eye size regulation itself. And that's why we do try and keep the weights of all of our products down. Um, with the Pebble 360, 3.9 kilos means that you have, you know, um, the longevity for the 83 centimeters to use it for longer as well. So we've got lots of comments coming in. Thank you very much for all those people who are asking us questions. All your questions are entered into the draw today to win our Maxi Cozy eSafety Smart Cushion modelled by me here. I'm glad we've still got people with us. because Yeah, no, been... <laughs> nobody's, no, nobody's fallen to sleep or, or anything like that. Good. Um, we've got people who are sharing. Remember, sharing is caring. So thank you very much. Emma Louise Ryland, thank you very much. Um, you have um, shared. So we really, really appreciate that. She also says, I wish my son had not started craw uh, crawling as early as he had because he was unable to start face-to-face -face play groups due to COVID restrictions. Oh. I know, but I hopefully, do you think life's going to get a bit more back to normal? I hope so. I, I, I've been feeling more positive. I'm, you know. Yeah. I think the weather's been a huge help. Um, the, you've been it's retail. snowed at the weekend here. I, I know, it, but the sun was still out and it's not dark at four o'clock anymore. And I think, you know, the next step being retail and everyone can then go get their hair done and everything. Are you Although, commenting on my hair, my scraggy well, ends? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> and my hair. Actually, I was pointing things out early because I really should have done my nails for this. Yeah. But we will be allowed to soon, so it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. So we've had a, we're having a look today at the brand new launch today, Maxi Cozy 360 family. Um, we've got the 360 base here, which takes um, currently the Maxi Cozy Pebble 360. And then we've looked at the Pearl 360. So a family of seats that's going to take you right the way up until your child's going to be sort of like four-ish years old yeah. and potentially ready to move on to your high back booster. Exactly. So there's only one seat left after that, which is brilliant. You would then just high back boosters, four years through to 12 or 135 centimetres. And then parting with your money for car seats is a thing of the past. Unless you have another child and then you just have to keep going. Yeah. Yeah, just keep going, <laughs> keep going. Claire Whiteley said, you're doing a fab job, Leanne, at representing Maxi Cozy. Well done. Oh, thank you so much. That's really nice. So, well done, Leanne. <laughs> pat on the head for me. I was I worried pat I was going to... I will pat you on gonna... the head, but... <laughs> you can't. I can't, can't no. I was worried I'd be a little bit rusty because um, it's all... You've not spoken time... to people, have I you? I know. Working from home the last 12 months, like, that's why I'm a bit giddy. Like, I get to... <laughs> get to go out. I know, get to, get to see to go people. Out. It's fine. It's fine. I get to do a live with somebody else, you know? Yeah, fun yeah. times. So, um, I don't think I mentioned the RRP on this. Um, so, it's 279. But remember that for that, you're getting it, the use of it all the way from birth. Yeah, so it birth really is worth about four years old. Absolutely. And then with all of the features that we've touched on, G cell technology, the perforated side panels, the climber flow fabrics, you're putting baby in, you know, the most premium car seat that we've got in the range. And I think, you know, your car seats, they are an investment. People get excited about picking their pram. Yeah. But actually, the most important thing you are going to buy for your child is your car seat. Absolutely. You know, and perhaps invest a little bit more in your car seat a little bit less and your pram looks beautiful. Yep. But your car seat's the bit that's going to potentially save your child's life. And we're not advocating going and getting yourself into any scrapes in the car, any lumps, you know, bumps, but your car seat potentially saves your child's life. And yeah. that's quite grounding, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's such a difficult topic to discuss sometimes because, you know, the one end of it, you know, it, it's not very nice what what no. could potentially happen and what we hear a lot from parents is you, you know you'd hear it more than what you'd what you'd think and, and people say well I'm a good driver nobody is trying to say that you are not but no. not every you know the, these things happen whether it's accidental or you do come across a driver who's not so great yeah um obviously or a moment of lapse you yeah. know acc accidents do happen yeah amy it's, it's quite grounding i think i've got shivers down it, my it spine. Is. it's not it's, it's not the nice yeah. side of it but that's why we're here discussing car seat safety because it's so important and really important. we are really responsible for you know life or mm -hmm. death in these in these situations and it's really yeah 
grounding, I think, especially when you've got children and you can relate, you know. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you really, really can. Yeah. So Amy Alexandra Latham has joined us. She said, definitely want to look at this when I have my appointment on Tuesday. Ooh. Amy, <laughs> it's here, okay? So your appointment on Tuesday, you can have a look at it. We can try it on different uh, prams. We can put it on the rig. We've got three rigs in store. So we, you can have a go at fitting it and practicing and everything like that. So no problem at all. Um, question from James, can you put the Pebble Pro on the 360 base? You cannot. So the Family Fix 360 will only take the Pebble 360, the Pearl 360 and the Coral 360, which will come to next. So if it doesn't have 360 on the end of it, it won't go. We're not doing crossovers. Um, the Pebble Pro is still very much in the range for the time being. And there are other Isofix bases that are compatible with that car seat, but it's not part of this modular system. Yeah, so you, you touched on you touched on another car seat then, didn't you? I so did. we said we were looking at two car seats in a base. You touched on the coral. The coral. So um we have the original coral here, right? Because the coral 360 is actually arriving in um next month. Um but from what we have here with the original coral, I can still talk you through everything it the does. The concepts, can't the concept. you? Because the coral it if, if this hadn't launched, the coal was your most exciting launch. But oh. now this is launched, I don't... Oh, yeah. Ooh, I really, Ooh, uh, it's... I know, I mean... But when we can do it 360 as well, yeah, thanks. Absolutely. So it's a lot of boxes. It does, yeah. So um, the Coral won a bag of awards when it came out. Innovation of the year, just the concept of it absolutely blew our minds and parents as well, um, especially when, as we touched on earlier, parents, um, mothers who've had C-sections um, and just, you know, not wanting to carry around a really heavy car seat. So um, the Coral, as you can see here, obviously it has a lot of the features that we've already discussed um, on the Pebble 360. So we have the separate sun canopy, which you all loved early. So I'm just going to do it one more time. <laughs> <laughs> and we, we like that. It's like on the Tinker, when you put it on the Tinker as well. Yeah. We, we like that. Yeah, it's just so much easier. And I think it really adds to the visual. Like it, it, it I know we nicer. shouldn't go about uh, thinking about whether things look pretty, but you know, we're human beings and we do like things to look nice as well. Absolutely, we do, yeah. So um, again, you've got your green guide points for the lady that was asking earlier. You can install this with your seat belt again using the green ice, uh, yeah, the points here. So lap to lap and diagonal around the back. You can move the handle as well to get baby in and out. But onto the main event of this car seat. She's clever. Car so. seat's always she. Sorry. I don't, <laughs> she, whether you think. she is clever. She and is she's clever. clever and beautiful. She she's is the force to be beauty. reckoned with. Yes. So we have the newborn insert, as we've discussed with um, previous models as well. So I'm not going to go over the same thing again. Um, but we do have two straps here. So if I just move this hood out of the way. The magic of this is we have two straps here. I pull them up, pull them together. I'll do it this side. You can see this little green guide point here. Push it up. <gasps> Look at that. Isn't she lovely? She's beautiful. <laughs> Give us a thumbs up if you think that's really clever. Because we mentioned earlier that your infant carry, once you've got a baby in it, I'm not going to lie, they get heavy. Guys, watch this. Don't do that with your baby in it. <laughs> It weighs 1.7 kg with this insert. <laughs> so when it's clicked inside the shell, it's 5.5. But if we have parents who want to leave the shell and the safety of the car seat in the vehicle, as you can see there in all its Look glory. Look at that, thumbs up and hearts for that little bit oh, of Maxi Cozy wonderful. magic this morning on the coral. <laughs> oh, wow, I need this, says Carol, uh, says Kaylee. I think one of the nice things about it is if you have had a C-section, mm -hmm. it's a lot easier, it's a lot lighter to take into your car. You can't clip it onto the chassis of your pushchair. You can. Um, like that. You would need to have the outer um, car seat with it. Yeah. If you are in flats or you've got lots of stairs to carry. Yep. If you've got twins, it's great for twin parents because it's a lot easier to carry one two of each. those. <laughs> Should have had another one. Um, triplets, can't help you there. <laughs> Tripl no. Triplets, you need, you need another set of hands. You need to become an octopus. Yeah, we can't help um, with that. Or if you are in a wheelchair, it's a lot easier to pop that on your knee. So there's lots and lots of cases for a lot of families. This is going to be an absolute game changer. Game changer. changer. Yes, game changer. Game Great changer. minds, Joe. So Great minds. Actually, just alluding to what you said earlier about that, um, the footage and the, the videos that we've made to sort of um, market the, these products, it actually followed um, a real family's journey. 
um, and the lady had a c-section and it shows her in the video being wheeled out of the hospital with a newborn on her lap in the wheelchair and it's just such a nice it's quite emotive actually isn't it it is yeah it's quite it emotive gives you the, the chills. you know whether you've had children or not but when you've had children it's like it takes you back yeah Oh, I do love little squidges. I could have a whole host so of them, cute. but I think three's enough. <laughs> <laughs> You've got your hands full already there. Um, so, yeah, and with the original coral, although the concept was brilliant, without the rotation, actually getting the insert out of the shell could still do the tweaking of the back, you know, trying yep. to lift it up at that awkward angle. Now, if we picture, you know, it's inside its shell, I'm turning it towards me, I can literally grab the straps, click it out, and I've got 1.7 kg plus baby. Um, and we're good to go. So this launches next month and will be available as soon as it's launched at Push Chair Expert and it will fit on this base. So you're going to have the choice of two infant carriers yeah. to go on this base, aren't you? Either yeah. the Coral 360 or the Pebble 360. Yeah, absolutely. Depending on what your um, needs are as a family, um, how much you're looking to spend. So there is a price difference that the Coral 360 is £239 and the Pebble 360 is £199. So you're £40 difference, aren't you, really, for the ability to take that insert. Now, some people, that's going to be a game changer, yeah. going to be really, really important to them. For other people, that's not going to be important. We have got a question. Somebody has asked, sorry, I've lost your name, about um, putting this onto the chassis of your pushchair. As a whole system, when you've got the insert, you, yeah. yes, you can put it on the chassis of your pushchair. We'll show you that in just a moment. Somebody's also asked, can you pop that on the floor? Is yeah, it going to roll I was just over? about to. So it's actually on its own stand and it has legs as well. So if I'm carrying baby and all my shopping bags into the, the house. Because we can go shopping soon. Because we can soon. When retail reopens, ta-da. So we can then pop it on the floor. And baby is perfectly fine in there just whilst I get myself in the house, get all my bags down, and then I can come back and tend to baby after. They are perfectly fine in there, and we can use these straps to pick it up for the full duration of the product. Now, to plug it onto the chassis, um, again, as we said with Maxi Cozy and Ease of Use, you will notice that this has now gone red because we no longer have the insert plugged in. So if I click it back in, you'll have noticed it's now gone green, which means that we are locked into place that will no longer come out um, and then we can then pop it onto a pushchair chassis or onto the Family Fix 360 base for travelling in the vehicle as well. Oh, it's nice. And here's a chassis I have prepared <laughs> earlier in true Blue Peter right. style. So, they are compatible, aren't they, with lots and lots of pushchairs. Somebody's just asked... Um, Sorry, I can't remember your name, and it's just gone down the screen about the new Pebble 360 being compatible with Bugaboo. Yeah. Yep. So we're so we've well done. Okay. We we, um, we do have um, a compatibility chart that um, you will be able to share with parents, yep. um, and it will be sort of out there for you to find as well. But just to give you a, a bit of an idea, you know, I know there's um, some testing undergoing with um, the likes of iCandy. Silver Cross are on board with it as well. We've done testing with Egg, Baby Style, Bugaboo, um, and, you know, other popular pushchair brands as well. So it won't be something where you can't have it because you want the pushchair and it's not compatible with yeah, really. Yeah, no, which is great. So most pushchairs will come with their adapters or you buy them as an additional extra depending on the pushchair. We have got one of the Maxi Cozy range out today, but yep. as Leanne has just said, it is compatible with a whole host of pushchairs. Um, so if you've already got your heart set on a particular pushchair, you know, have a look. You might have got your heart set on the brand new Maxi Cozy Adora Lux. Called Lux because she's a little bit special, isn't she? She is. Not only is she beautiful, she's an independent exclusive. So we like something a little bit special. Yeah. We like something a little bit. It's been really popular, well received in store, obviously when we were open, well received on our video appointments. Um, but keep watch your space because we will go into more detail about this in a live very, very soon. But popping your car seat on the chassis of your pushchair is very easy, isn't it? It is, she says. So I'm just trying to... There we go, we're in. So you do have indicators on the inside of the adapter as well that will say R or L, and that means from <laughs> standing here. So, oh, we clicked in. So the thing about them is that usually you can't pop them in the wrong way with a lot of push chairs, yeah. or your baby's going to have their head in the wrong position. Yeah. So do watch for that. So we've got it there with the coral on, but you can also put, put the there? Pebble 360 it? on as well. There we go. 
And we are in. We, we go. are in. We're in. We are in. So, we've had a look today at the 360 family. I think before we go, can we just take the car seat off there and pop it back onto our 360 base? Yeah, of course we right. can, yeah. So everybody who's just joined us, we are looking at the brand new Maxi Cozy 360 family launched today. It is in stock and available for next day delivery from Pushchair Expert. We've got it all in store for you to see if you're able to come to store or if you need a video appointment. Um, it's not available in all retailers, so just check whether your local retailer has it or obviously you're going to use us. Um, but... We, we, we were really excited, you know, it, it is a really great addition to the Maxi Cozy family, we, you know, without a doubt, a great addition. Um, we've got a few people who are talking about the new Coral 360 that's launching next week. Um, Charlie, um, Helen says that she thinks the £40 upgrade is really worth it from your Pebble 360 to your Coral 360 yeah. because of the insert that's removable. Yes, yeah, some people it's going to be awesome, other people they need it so you know it's nice to have some options though yeah definitely and the coral 360 has officially launched um we're just waiting a little bit longer for the stock so yeah. people can pre-order it with you if they do want the coral 360 over the pebble 360 you don't have to wait an extra month you can get your order in with them um and then you just know you're securing it when when it does finally arrive in with us yeah and talking about flexibility and choice there is a choice of colors isn't there for these products <laughs> There I'm is. gonna test you now, Leanne. She's okay. Gonna, she's gonna dart out that door oh, and no. leave here going, yes, <laughs> kind of a grey one. Right, I'm really sorry if I'm wrong here. <laughs> Pebble 360 will come in the essential grey, the essential graphite, and the essential green, which is a really nice green that we spoke about earlier. It's a kind of a sagey green. It's oh, beautiful. It's beautiful, yeah. And I think it will complement some push chairs that are on the market yeah. really well. It's um, a unisex colour. When you say green, it makes you think a bit It's yappy. not this green. It's not that green. Although that is a wonderful green, it's well not... Well saved. Well, it's kind of... <laughs> I can't see anything around the room that's a sagey green, but it's kind of a sagey green and it is beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. And then the Pearl 360 you have um, available in the black, the graphite, the grey, and then we have the cognac, cognac and the red. Now the cognac is more of like um, a yellowy gold. Yeah, kind of a... Uh, it's almost a bronzy gold, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I'd like to say quite an autumnal gold. Yeah, that's a good that's, way to describe it. That's the way it. I'm going to describe it's it. It's not everybody's cup of tea. No. Um, I think we tend to have, at the moment, I find you have customers who go for the grey because it's so in gray. fashion and it's grey. <laughs> We've got grey and graphite. Yep, yep. And then you have customers who say, I am sick of seeing grey, can you give me some colour? So we've put the red and the cognac in the range as well, just for people who want a burst of colour. It will be interesting to see what, which ones people will go for. Have you got a favourite, Leanne? Ooh. What would you have? I'm a graphite person. She's a great I'm boring. person. I'm, I'm a boring graphite person. Um, but I really do like the red. And I think with the Pearl 360, because we're not taking it out and plugging it on a chassis, it actually looks really nice in car interiors. So I think I'd probably go red for you Pearl 360. you go red for that? What would you go for that? I'd go green, green. all day long green. for that, yeah. yeah. Essential green. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm half... See, I was going to go... I would have said essential green. And then I saw the essential grey. And it, she's quite a warm grey. Oh, yeah. But kind of a bluey grey, which doesn't sound very warm, but it is, I don't know how well it shows on camera, but in, in the flesh. Oh, it's, And then yeah. you've got graphite, which is just grey. Yeah, and <laughs> with Maxi Cozy, it doesn't matter which colour you're going for, because I know, obviously, as a parent, you're thinking about everything that will end up on the fabric as a parent, you know, which end it's coming out of from baby on that particular day. Projectile vomiting. Or the other end. Or the other exactly. end. Exactly. Well, with Maxi Cozy, um, you can remove a lot of the fabrics from the products and you can just bob them on a delicate wash and then leave them to air dry so that we don't shrink them. Um, and yeah, with the inserts really as well, you can turn them inside out. So if you do have an accident whilst you're out and about and you need that insert to be there, I know it's going to cause a bit of mess, but you can turn it inside out just to keep baby nice and clean and dry whilst you, until you're home and you're able to sort of 
sort the whole family out but yeah you can machine wash all of it so and for those little marks baby wipes are your friend they are baby wipes yep baby wipes baby, baby wipes friend for everything are your friend forever yeah i don't uh, have children and baby wipes are my best friend yeah i see <laughs> until i had children i didn't discover baby wipes and in fact i am mrs hinch you've heard every, oh, everybody knows mrs hinch yeah love mrs, mrs. hinch is household tips or something on facebook you put something on there and everybody just goes use baby wipes baby wipes baby wipes yeah because i use it a lot Okay, Mrs. Hinch, I think yeah. you, there's a little Facebook group and you can put, oh, you know, my child's drawn on her wall. True story. <laughs> <laughs> Help, what do I do? Yeah, there wipes. you get the answer. But baby wipes is the answer to everything. Yep. So, so there we go. I'm sorry, I changed the subject that's, completely. Then. No, that's fine. She, um, yeah, I mean, that's exciting as well that she's expecting number two, isn't it? I, I know. I do love, love I watching know. Mrs. Hinch and what she's up to. What car seat, what pushchair, mm. you know, what bedside crib. Yeah, and she does really good explanations about how everything works as well. She I think does, yeah. It is nice to see um, a lot of sort of influencers and celebrities using products and just getting them out there so that people, because there's so much choice that it can be a bit overwhelming for parents. But so I if they see like, somebody yeah, else. Yeah, I do like Mrs. Hinch because although, yes, obviously she's a massive, massive influencer, but she's kind of a real person yeah, as well. Yeah. And I think, you know, she doesn't use a product one day and then use it, you know, there are influencers that will use one push chair one day and one push chair the next day, yeah. but she finds what she likes and she uses it and I quite like that. Yeah, yeah, she's real, isn't she? Yeah, definitely real, definitely. Yeah. I don't know where she gets the time, but <laughs> she's, Wonder she's Woman. definitely real. <laughs> so, anybody got any last minute questions before we draw our winner this morning? We've had lots of people joining us. Pauline Burns says she uses water wipes for everything. <laughs> everything absolutely and debbie pettit says cloth, cloth wipes are the way forward yes exactly um baby wipes real wipes yes absolutely definitely couldn't agree more um vicky thomas asma says she's got a chunky nine month old who's two stone and in a pebble um he's got really long legs <laughs> and, and he cries when he's in it now sometimes children do just they, cry mm, they just when they're like in it. yeah and it's it's often we often have parents who come in and say my child hates their car seat but it's, it's often, and it's usually round about that kind of eight, nine month age where, you know, quite frankly, they're getting a bit grumpy and they're finding themselves a little bit more. They're getting a bit, I'm not going to say more of a personality because I don't mean babies don't have yeah. a personality. They know what they want. But they know what more. they want and they know that if they cry, and it is a really, really hard period. And there's nothing worse than driving along and your child is screaming. But it doesn't necessarily mean that they're uncomfortable in their car seat sometimes you know they need to i used to have these little socks that my daughter wore and she moved her feet and it made a, a sound not saying that's going to work for everybody it worked and if it worked for one journey it worked really well yeah i've, I've been in sort of situations where i've been looking after people trust me with their children believe it or not no <laughs> excellent would you like to babysit <laughs> yeah why not yeah about two weeks this summer i can go on holiday with no yeah, children Flor florence looks great for florence would love you Leah. yeah absolutely absolutely <laughs> would be best how, how, how are you with teenage boys um <laughs> I mean, I'll have Florence Looking. for the day. How about that? And, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. It's all right. They look after themselves. They yeah, and look after just, themselves. There is sometimes a solution for, for some parents. You know, the Hey Dougie soundtrack goes on a lot. Or, you know, unfortunately, it doesn't work for everybody. Um, but as Joe said, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're being a really cruel parent and they're sitting in something that they, you know, they're really uncomfortable in. I would just say maybe just have a... A manoeuvre with the seat, make sure that you've got the full use out of, um, you know, the inserts out, the harnesses extended, all, all those sorts of things. Um, yeah, and, and just check your harness, because it could be that the harness is too low and it needs yeah. to go up and they're just really uncomfortable. Yeah. Um, and we can always do that for you. Kaylee Smith asked about the new Coral. So, Kaylee, you can get the new Coral 360, so you can order it now and the stock is landing in round about a month's time. Yes. So, as soon as it's here, we will ship those out for you. Um, Holly Louise Godfrey says we booked in to shop at the end of the end of April. Can't wait to shop for this. So that's awesome. We look forward to seeing you um, there, Holly. And Charlie has said, when you open again, do you need an appointment or can we drop by? So we are opening appointment only. Um, if you can't get an appointment on a particular day, what we would say is if you give us a ring. Sometimes you've got some no shows. Hopefully not, but you know it does happen or last minute cancellation, somebody's poorly or anything like that. Um, you know, it is worth giving us a ring in the morning saying, you know, we'd like to come at this time. 
is there any way that you can squeeze us in? And if we're able to, you know, we will do. We've got a massive store, yeah. you know, and our appointments nowhere near will fill the size of the store. It's just making sure you've got that one-to-one. -one. So you can give us a ring on the day and we will see um, what we can do. I had a question about warranty for Maxi Cozy products. Do they come with any warranty? They do, yeah. It's um, a standard two-year warranty with the products. Um, but as I said earlier, we do have a UK based customer care team. So after that period of time, um, it would be sort of a chargeable repair, but we are still able to do it. So equally you can go back to the retailer that you purchased it from, um, but you can actually come straight to our uh, customer care team as well. And they will offer the same answer that they would if you went through the retailer that you purchased it from. We can do repairs and replacements, etc., cetera, um, just so that you, you can use the product as long as you need to. Yeah, so I think that really, really helps. And we are quite happy, whether it's Maxi Cozy or anybody else, if you've bought a product from us, we are quite happy to take all that stress away from you. We have our customer service team, and we've got Sam, and we've got Megan, and we've got Shannon. So they are there, and they will take the whole stressful process. Because yeah. if something does go wrong, and you know when it does go wrong, you want it sorting out as quickly as possible, yeah. we will always try and take all that stress away from you and sort it all out for you. That's yeah. no problem. So I think we better draw our winner, Leanne. So okay. our winner, our prize today is a Maxi Cozy E Safety Smart Cushion. I'm going to put it up on there. Oh, oh, oh. Stay, <laughs> stay. We don't suggest you have it in the box on top of your infant carrier. If you win, we suggest you actually take it out and use it. Um, but all we need to do is, I'm going to scroll up and down. You okay. can take as long or as quick as you like. Okay. You know, um, if you're Kelly, I'll be there scrolling for hours. And I've seen her do that too. Yeah, yeah, no, it's just stand here smiling. <laughs> and our winner, this will go out on the courier. You do need to be in the UK to enter because we ship throughout the UK. But if you get your um, address details and telephone number for the courier over to us before five o'clock, it will be with you tomorrow. So, Good luck, everybody. Oh, Claire Whiteley says, well done, ladies. Great live. Oh, thank you. Ah. Yeah. It was worth it, the journey. It was nice. Wasn't yeah, it? I've had a really great time. Yeah, we've, we've, <laughs> let, we've left the rest of the team out there. They're doing some uh, car seat in depth training because we keep refreshing all of our training all Absolutely. of the time. Um, so we've got the, whole, the rest of the team with their customer service. Well, they're in the store, they're all doing the training out there with the lovely Maggie. She gave you to come and do live and she stayed out there for the training. She did, yeah. She's done we're the gonna, gruelling part, yeah. I, we, we're going to have to change that and get Maggie in next time. Yeah, we'll definitely. As well. We can have a whole party, can yeah. we? The whole of the Maxi Cozy team. <laughs> all of us. All That'd of be you. great. They'd love that. <laughs> oh, I, I, yes, no. <laughs> That'd be a very tiring day for that you, though. Be. You know what the team's like. <laughs> I do. They're great fun, I have to say. The Maxi Cozy team are great, great fun. So... Right, whenever you are ready, I am scrolling. I kind of go up and down and I just kind of, there's, there's no means nor where's um, about. Stop. So, our winner today is, do, do, do you want to do a drum roll? <laughs> our winner today is Vicky Thomas Asmus. Woo! So, well done, Vicky. I am just writing congratulations so that I do not lose your comments. So I kind of talk really slowly here. <laughs> Type and talk at the same Type time. Type and talk, yeah. No, we're, we're very, very Shall basic. I d distract while you distract, do that? Distract, distract, <laughs> distract. Well done. So this is your prize, Vicky. Well done. So um, it retails at £69 very as well. Very good, yes. So, yeah, it's, it is a great bit of kit. It's an awesome bit of kit. It's really, really clever. Really clever. So, thank you very much for joining us today. Tomorrow we've got a very exciting live. We are going to give you a bit of a tour of the store. Ooh. Hey, look at that, tour of the store. Tour of the store. Tour of the store. <laughs> and tomorrow, two people will be able to win a £50 voucher to use either in the store or online. So make sure you join us at 11 o'clock tomorrow. We're going to show you some of the new products that are in store. I'm also going to share with you our new carpet, okay, because it's, it's a very, very, nice very sad, but I'm very excited to get the new carpet. We've got new products in store. We've got new stands. Um, at the moment, we're painting one of the walls. By we're painting one of the walls, are you, I don't are mean, you doing it? No, I'm here. So I we're <laughs> painting one of the walls. We've got William painting um, one of the walls today behind our eye candy stand. We've got new silver cross stands. We've got the new Adora Look stand. Yeah, um, it looks brilliant. Yeah, we've got all kinds of things that are going on. So if you have visited us in the past, 
um, things will look a little bit different. We've got a whole, we've um, got more car seats. I think we've got nearly twice as many car seats than we had on display six months ago. So we really have expanded a lot. And of course, we've got our beautiful furniture den. So we look forward to taking you on a tour of the store tomorrow where you can ask any questions as we go around and you might even win a gift voucher to use in store or give to a friend. But then you can put towards buying the Pebble 360 in base. Exactly. Oh yeah, 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 no, duh. <laughs> Don't forget to mention the carpet if you do have an appointment because... Yeah, do please mention the yeah, carpet because I'm really very excited. It really will win your points when you I come I do in. feel... <laughs> yeah, I've always wanted the carpet, but it's such a big area. But, you know, my job's done now. I've got the carpet. I'm going to retire. Yeah, so you should. I'm off. See you. So you should. <laughs> see you. Well earned. <laughs> so thank you very much for joining us. And thank you, Leanne, for making the journey over to Pushchair Expert today and showing us the very exciting... 360 um, family 360 base, mm -hmm. Pebble 360, Pearl 360, and coming soon, the Coral 360. It is an awesome addition to the Maxi Cozy family. We are really excited and so pleased that we've got it in store. So any questions do ask, but thank you, Leanne. Thank you so much so for nice having me. I know, year. I've missed you guys I know, so maybe much. maybe we could hug. <laughs> a big, big a distance COVID one. COVID hug. <laughs> so thank you, everybody. Thank you. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.